Your Excellencies, Honorable Invited Ministers, Nananum, Distinguished Industry Captains, Distinguished Participants, CEOs, Members of the Media, International Delegates Participating Online, Chairman, all protocols observed. Everybody is important here. It is a great pleasure that I stand here today to welcome and address this August participant for the first Africa Globalized Investment Summit taking place in Accra here. The dream of this significant event came out of the objectives of APN After Think Tank in support of After Establishment. APN is the first and the largest network to be set up as after Think Tank, which was acknowledged by the Secretary General. And we have over 1,000 and 3,000 membership network across the group. And our focus is to invoke the protocol of investment and the after to organize investment summits for all the 54 countries of after so that they can focus on sectoral development. Therefore, this program is not only going to be in Ghana, but we are hoping to host it next year. And we are happy that a country has decided to host us, we will announce at the end of the conference. That is something that we want to do. And this is what we are seeing today. Therefore, this summit opens to all the 54 African countries and all their allies or international organizations to catalyze the common development agenda for socioeconomic transformation of our various countries. The summit is focused on bringing together various investors, innovators, project financiers, joint venture search and partnership, women in business, exhibition of products and services from the participating countries and investment opportunities and after, among others. I like it for the Dubai Expo, which is very, very good. But I keep asking myself, can African Union and after Secretariat put together and brand an African Expo where we will showcase the products made in Africa and patronize. I was invited several times to the Expo, but I turned it down because I feel we need to own up this brand and this is the time. That's why we are having exhibition behind and I know that all of us will pass through the exhibition centers to see the product and services that we are offering. I'd like to pause here to showcase one of our members, what he has developed from the IT world, this card. It's from a young man who is an IT guy who is on our network. And what he has done is that you don't need to distribute your complimentary cards anymore. This card, you swipe, you just swipe it on any phone with a barcode, and all your information on it is here. So you don't need to share this complimentary card. Just swipe it on a thousand phones, and your information goes to the phone, your contact number, your emails, everything. This is what we are looking for, innovation so that the private sector can move forward. When we brand and patent this, you are more than the Silicon Valleys that we have in the US. And I think the young man deserves a round of applause. <laughs> Dear participant, I trust that by the close of this three-day summit, it will be evidence that Africa will consolidate its numerous resources by product and country competitiveness for commercial development and export. This effort will significantly pull up all available African skills both on the continent and in the diaspora, to create jobs for the unemployed teaming youth and also to take into consideration the huge 1.3 billion estimated population with over 3 trillion United States dollars trade volume of product per year. The above estimated figures for Africa by various sources should be viewed with all seriousness and all opportunities harnessed for the growth and benefit of our peoples, which will go a long way to reduce the large annual migration phenomenon of our energetic youth, in particular, in search for greener pastures. In conclusion, this summit is a clarion call to all African country leaders, technocrats, private sector, and entire citizenry to collaborate in all development issues for our transformational socioeconomic growth in the current world pandemic. We should know that our own lives lie in our hands and efforts. We can achieve our goals when we trust each other People have had a lot of doubts that after was going to be a reality. 
a lot of countries did not believe. I always say this, I will not forget, in one of our stakeholder programs, I was on plane, and I remember one ambassador from a different country elsewhere said, young man, where are you going? And I said, I'm going for after expert meeting. And she said, are you sure that this African continental free trade thing will be possible? And I told her that my presence in this plane means it's possible. Today we have realized its success. It is in our hands to make sure that it becomes a reality. The Africa Globalized Investment Summit will be held in all countries of African Union and after member states annually. It will be followed with what we call the intra-African tourism and skills development. Some states have shown readiness to collaborate and host among us our investors from across the globe who seek sectoral investment and development through opportunities and after offers. APN, this network, will undertake the Investment City of Hope project to be constructed on a 50-acre land which we are planning. That is our major project we want to do to build what we call the Investment City of Hope project that will be constructed on a 50-acre land which will offer skills, development, investment excellence center, tourism ecosystem, science-driven development labs, women and youth entrepreneurial capacity center, as of now, we are working closely with the partners in Dubai. We have already offered support to the Ministry of Education. We have brought them investors and we have had MOUs that is going to focus on the transformational agenda of the educational policy reform. We have also moved in with STEM projects and that is evidence of what this network is doing. Hence, the invite is open to any participating country present here, any investor to support this goal. I wish you all a wonderful summit and you're welcome.